Hi guys, it's Liliana the Magnificent and welcome back to my main city, Dukes of Honey. In this video, I am going to cover how to trade down higher aged goods in order to increase your own inventory of maybe current or previous era goods. Now, this topic was brought to me by my guildmate Twisted and basically just asking if I could teach about trading down goods. Now, I will give a fair warning. I have never actually personally used this method to increase my current inventory of goods. I solely utilize my CF and Chateau, and I do reoccurring quests. And as I click my city, I will get coins, and then as I spend forge points, I will use this. I will link a video to CF Cycling um, right up here on how to do that if you are unfamiliar with it. Now, I will say I completely understand, you know, there are young players or low-age players that are just starting that, you know, maybe they have a CF, maybe they don't. Hopefully, regardless, you are utilizing still the reoccurring quests in order to increase your goods, but I get it. With Guild Battlegrounds and with Guild Expedition, a lot of times goods are the hot commodity for lower age players because their attack bonus is not as high, they don't have a lot of military troops, and goods are a lot easier to come by. However, if you're spending a lot of them, maybe your inventory really needs some love and trading down is a great way to increase that inventory, especially while you are waiting to increase your CF levels. So let's jump in on how to do this and what this looks like. First off, you're going to want to find a very generous friend or a very generous guildmate, or you're going to want to look for a goods trader within your world that will trade you a large amount of higher aged goods, hopefully at an unfair rate for something that you have within your own inventory. So what that may look like if somebody like, for instance, came to me, We'll go to create an offer so you can see. So maybe this person is in early middle ages. You're going to offer me 250, so at an unfair rate for, you know, I'm in contemporary era, so for my bionics data. And you can see it automatically came up in this regard, but we're going to do it this way. So you're going to get 500 um, from me, and you're going to be offering me copper. Granted, I know this is opposite, but this is how I'm explaining it. <laughs> this makes sense in my brain. <laughs> I don't actually need bionics data, but you do. <laughs> anyway, so you would make this trade. You would then be getting 500 bionics data for giving me or a trader 250 copper. Now, if it is a goods trader, they might ask you to um, compensate them with a forge point cost. They also may say, mm, no, the two for one offer I don't like, it needs to be one to one. So then it would be 500 of that era goods that you're in for 500 of their goods. And ta-da, now you have these awesome high aged goods within your inventory and you're gonna work to trade them down. So. I'm going to talk about um, a couple of things first before I talk about really the method to the madness. So once you have these 500 bionics data, what you're going to do, um, just that initial trade, you would be offering, let's say, um, 250 of those for 500 of genome data, which is the era right below it. So you can see that you are now doubling that amount. So um, here's a little implications with this. Um, be mindful that this process is very tedious and time consuming. It is not a quick fix. If you're looking for a quick amount of goods, hopefully you can just go to somebody and they can just make you a large unfair trade for something that they really genuinely need that they, that, that person has a lot of. Um, this process does take a lot of time. Along with that, um, because you are trading down multiple eras, your friends list or your guild list needs to be very varied. <laughs> so what that means is if your friend list is composed, not composed, comprised of a bunch of players from maybe your era, lower era, maybe right above you, 
those players will not be able to pick up any of these trades as they go down because they won't have the goods. Now let's say your guild list is also not very varied. <laughs> then they also won't be able to pick up your trades. So hopefully you either need to do some reworking and you need to get a friends list and find friends that are of different eras, or you need to join a guild that is really active that has a lot of people of different eras in order to make this work. So along with that, also be mindful that a trade like this might not be picked up because it's kind of expensive. So maybe instead what you would need to do is 25 of these Bionics data for 50 genome data and you have this on the market like five or six times, maybe 10 times, whatever, um, so that maybe these get picked up quicker because they're a smaller trade. It depends. If it's a forge point cost, maybe somebody will pick up the higher amount. Basically, you just need to kind of get a feel for the market, see what is going faster, maybe this one is, maybe the bigger one is, and accommodate as you go. Now, along with that, um, be mindful as well, the person that is giving you these goods, these might not be taken very quickly because if it's a player like me who sees a trade like this, it's a loss to me to pick this up. So I'd be giving, um, I'd be giving you 50, but I'm only gaining 25 for this trade. So someone like me who likes to hoard goods, I won't pick up a lot of these trades. Instead, I would prefer to just give you a large batch of whatever goods you need and then ta-da, you just have a whole bunch of goods. It might be a little bit easier on me versus if I'm like the only one that's taking these, suddenly my inventory is going to be really low. Along with that, you need to be mindful on what kind of players are within your friends list or guild list because like for instance, I'm absolutely not going to pick this trade up because previous era goods are really hard to come by and I'm in contemporary era. So hopefully you've got somebody who maybe is in um, PME and will pick this trade up and they're hoping to gain some contemporary era goods. So just be mindful of that as you go. So now let's talk about this awesome document that I have and I am so excited about it. I am like I've already done this video, I got halfway, and then I was like, wait, I don't know the math of this. And then I stopped and I actually made a document with math. Like, you guys, I am on like FOE elite and mooing cat status right now. <laughs> I am analytical. <laughs> I'm so excited. Granted, this is the head and mind of Lil, so this might absolutely not make sense, but it makes sense to me, so hopefully I can make it make sense to you. Let's go on with my analysis. <laughs> okay, so that initial trade, you got 500 CE goods, you traded 250 EMA for them. So now what you're going to do is you're going to, like I said, I already showed that one trade, you're gonna trade 250 of those Bionics data for 500 genome data, which is PME. You can do this two times because you have that initial CE um, goods of 500. So you can do this type of trade twice. It's because you can do it twice, you can multiply that by 500 and now suddenly you have a thousand total genome data once both of those trades have been taken. So now you're gonna work with this 1000 genome data. You're gonna make a trade for 250 for 500 convenience food. Now, you can do this type of trade four times. So 1,000 divided by 250 is four. You take that four times 500, you now suddenly have 2,000 total of convenience food within your inventory if all those trades were taken. Now, you're gonna take 250 for 500 asbestos. Hopefully I'm saying that right and hopefully it really isn't asbestos because that's bad. But either way, <laughs> You have this 2,000 that you're working with, you divide that by 250, that's eight. Eight times 500 means you now have a total of 4,000 asbestos within your inventory. Next, you take 250 for 500. Because you have 4,000, you can divide that by 250, 16. So 16 times 500, you now have 8,000 total of coke within your inventory once all your trades have been taken. 
Next, you take your 250 Coke for 500 coffee. You have that 8,000 total, so you can divide that by 250. That's 32. 32 times 500 means you suddenly have 16,000 total of coffee within your inventory. Next, you do your 250 for 500 of basalt. You have 16,000 that you're working with. You divide that by 250. That's 64. So 64 times 500, you now have 32,000 total of basalt within your inventory once all of those trades have been taken. Next, you have your 250 basalt for 500 bricks. You have that 32,000 you're working with. You divide that by 250. That's 128 times 500 means you suddenly have 64,000 total bricks within your inventory. Now you take your 250 bricks for 500 copper, which is this era that you're ending in in your mind. And so you have your 64,000 divided by 250. It's 256 times that you're doing this. You multiply that by 500. At the end results, you now have 128,000 total of copper within your inventory. Boom. However, you can absolutely see trades like this down here will take a lot of time. Having to put out 128 trades is like redonkulous. But yeah, you can see time consuming and very tedious and you're gonna need a lot of people to pick these up. I don't even know how often this probably happens. You're probably gonna get like a couple of these. I doubt you're gonna get to this amount of goods. But I'm convinced, you know, some of these world traders, this is probably what they do to get those large amount of stock of the goods that they need in order to trade. Maybe, I don't know. But either way, this is the method to the madness. Hopefully my document made sense. It's probably not as good as a document that FOE, a leader, mooing cat can make, but this is like awesome for me. This is probably the most analytical video that I have ever made. I'm pretty darn excited about it. Hopefully it's not wrong. If it's wrong, then, then Lily really is a sucky with a mathy. If this video was helpful, give it a like. You can always subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified whenever I put out new videos. Bye, guys.